Good day, Glowforge friends and fellow users of Inkscape. I am back with another Inkscape tutorial for our Glowforge today. I'm going to show you a way to make a coaster. So, let's see what I got. The first step should be a familiar one. We are going to do File and choose New from Template. I am going to use the Glowforge Metric Template. If you don't have these installed, I'll have the little button up here that you can click so you can install yours as well. Once it launches, you can see our little Glowforge guidelines, and today we are going to make a really cool coaster, so I'm going to simply draw a circle. I don't care if it's round, because I'm going to go up here and type the magic numbers uh, that most people use for coasters, which I did a little bit of Googling, and it's 3.5 inches or approximately 90 millimeters. I want my coaster to be cut out, so I do not want it to have a fill, and I want the stroke paint to be red uh, with a red fill or a red line for my stroke paint that is going to designate that is a cut in the Glowforge software and it'll move it to the bottom of the order. I want to have a sunken area for my coaster so I'm going to bring out another circle draw it inside and I'm going to type my numbers and I'm going to do 75 for each side of this so I've got a nice rim around my coaster. When I press enter they are aligned poorly but I am going to grab them and I'm going to find the Align tool, and I want to center them and center them. This tool is going to be very helpful all the way through this project. This second circle is not going to be a cut, so we're going to change it to have no stroke paint, and then I'm going to give it a green fill. So let's slide the red all the way back, slide the green all the way across, and slide the blue all the way back. I'm going to keep this super simple for the demonstration, but it should be clear how you could make it more awesome if you wanted to. So I'm going to bring out the words, and I'm going to support my school here by doing a go, and then whoa. I'm going to stretch it a little so I can see it, and then I'm going to go down to the text and font. When I click on these fonts, I can use the arrow key to move through and look at how cool they are down here on the samples. Notice how I cannot see them all? That's because of how large I made it back here. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to do that smaller again. Once again, using the arrow keys to find the one that I want to use for this cool coaster that I'm, that I'm building. I'm going to use the Copper Plate Gothic. I'm going to hit Apply. And now that I've got that confirmed, I can stretch it out to the full size that I want. Once again, I'm going to select everything, and I'm going to use that awesome Align and Distribute, which I can make appear by making sure that I've scrolled up and then clicking on it. I want all of my items centered and centered, and we need to do that so that we can keep track of these little parts. Because right now, what we're going to do is click on the words, and we're going to do Path, and we're going to do Object Path. And then I'm going to do Ungroup so I can see all of my little pieces. And then I'm going to take just the words, so I'm selecting them, and I'm going to do Path, and I want to combine them. I'm going to do Control D, so I've got two of these paths. I've got one path selected. I'm going to select my green background, and I'm going to do another cool trick called Path Difference. Now what it just did was it cut out that path. And I'm going to prove it to you by clicking on this fill, making it go away. And then I'm going to bring it back and I'm going to make it a different color. So I'm going to make it pink by bringing up all the blue and the red. So at the moment, we have got a big circle being cut out. We've got the green, which I'm going to set so it digs one depth or cuts one depth into the wood. And then I've got the pattern of Go Whoa that'll be a little bit more raised up. I'm going to do Control D on this one more time. And this time, I'm going to turn on its stroke paint and I'm going to make it blue. So I'm just going to shut off the red. And then I'm going to click on its fill and I want its fill to be none. Now by having these all on separate pieces, 
it just gives me more options when I bring it into the Glowforge software. I'm going to zoom in on this real quick. And I thought that was showing up a different color on the stroke paint. I'm going to shut my red off and I want my blue all the way over. I accidentally, I think, might have been dragging the bottom one over. So now that I've got the entire project built, I'm going to hit that zoom, hold down shift and zoom out. I'm going to grab the entire project and I'm just going to do file save because I don't want to lose it. And I'm going to save it as a plain SG SVG and I'm going to call it Coaster 3. And then let's move to the Glowforge software and watch it come to life. So in the Glowforge software, we can choose Upload. There is Coaster 3. And when the design appears, we've got the circle I'm going to cut. We've got my outline words, my filled in words, and then the cut in uh, that's going to happen so that it's got a sunk in coaster feel. Now this piece of wood is tiny, so I'm going to actually shrink the entire project down. And it's going to end up being more like a Glowforge coin instead of a Glowforge coaster. But it's still going to be pretty darn epic. I promise you. And this way it'll cut faster so we'll have a final result we can show off in just a few minutes. First on my settings, we are going to do three passes at 145 and 75. But I had this set for 6 millimeters, and this is a 3 millimeter piece of walnut. I'm going to click on the outline of the words. I'm going to do these the least. I'm going to have them be 1510. So I'm going to just change that to 10. Once again, making sure that I hit that 3 millimeter mark because of this being unique. On the go well, I'm going to do 1 520. And on the settings for the shaded in go well, I'm going to do 1 400. And I'm going to do 25. So it'll cut in a little bit deeper. And I'm going to have it do... 180 lines per inch, making sure once again I get that three millimeter set. I'm going to double check this as well because I think I missed it here, and I did. So there's that three millimeters as well. Now that I've got the project put together, I'm going to hit print and let's see what we get. Of course, everybody's favorite part is when you get to hit the magic button. Boom. final version of our tiny little go -o. walnut coaster that's big enough to put a thimble on so hey friends if you got a question or a comment add it down below if you enjoyed or found the training useful please hammer that like button if you haven't hit subscribe yet what are you waiting for mash that subscribe button and last but not least hit notifications if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me hl mod tech take care have a great day